Hey everybody, welcome in. <coughs> um, middle of the night for me. I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, this is a game I played not too long ago, and it's partly to do with a new glitch that's in game. It's horrible. Metal coat sizzle. Um, you'll see it in a minute. <coughs> So this is what happens, I'm sure you guys like first hand. I came across this and I saw and talked to people on Discord and some other people had this as well. So I start off, I'm just gonna lower the volume just a touch. Um hopefully you guys heard everything so far. Um so this is a glitch to do with sizzle and full metal. Um my opponent starts with the cocoa and I'm just like yep. Alright, I can deal with Coco. I'll go defensive with Matang. The aim is to get Matang on goal. If he rushes down, then I can like throw out Agron and then have some room to, to play. Um, so, um, since he just went for Zapdos, I'm like, okay, I want to get my Evo set for Rylu. So I can get my Evo um, 2 star Aurora Sphere. That's what, that's what I'm all about. Um, so, with him, I'm hoping he comes down and attacks, and he does, and I'm like, wow. I did not expect it, to be honest. I, I don't think it's anywhere near worth, um, uh, attacking. But he did, and I was like, well, that's, that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. So now I'm like, well, I just need to shut off the other lane for Coco. Make sure Coco can't surprise rush me. And then I can go around, try and backtrack either onto the side or on the bottom with my wrath. And he says, Terrakian out? And I'm like, what Terrakian? This, this is fascinating for me. Um, so now he goes out with the scissor, or the scyther. And man, scyther used to be one of my favourite Pokemon. Back when I first was introduced to Pokemon. Um, so. Um, the reason why I backed up here is now that my Rylu is in range of Zapdos. Even if he took that in bottom entry. So he uses full metal. See that little glitch there? It just jumps straight to Sizzle. And look, my time is not going anywhere. I can't click on anything. Both timers are frozen. The game doesn't know what to do. And this sat like this just for a while, and I was like tapping on, I was like, why, why, what's wrong? And it took me a little while, just for a while, I was just full of and just to see if it comes back. And then I was just decided, well, I want to force quit, start it the up again. And I, I just thought, I'll give it some time, just in case it comes right. And I was just hoping, since it's on the opponent's turn, maybe the opponent's will be the one that's timing me out and having to quit and things as well, to get his game right. But that was not the case. It only happens to the opponent of the one who uses it. So there we go. I just reset the game. And now I'm one minute down. He's just evolved the same. I'm like, oh man, I've just got to get straight back in and attack. And does exactly what I need to. I get my reload Evo straight away. Um, but that's the bug. And it's it's horrible. So if that happens and your game freezes, just straight away shut your app, reload. Pull it back up and try and lose as little time as you can. Because I had to play catch up for that whole minute I lost. So, he comes out and pulls the Lunala out. And I'm just like, mm, Lunala. Lunala, Lunala, Lunala. Always like, I was just, I was just talking about the other day how like, it's a, such a status heavy meta. Whereas you're seeing less and less Lunalas. They're still around. Just still around, even with all the paralyzed and burned decks and everything out there, they're, they're still around. So, and I still have the uh, long throw in here. I've actually replaced that now, although now I'm considering putting it back in because I just faced another rush deck and I needed it. I swapped it out for Max Revive because I found that I wanted a Max Revive, but. Maybe it's gotta stay. Oh. Yawn. Sorry. 
So I throw Verzian out. Man, my uh, half my team is terrible against Terrakian. Uh, two um, of um, have running two Matangs. Oof. Not, not, not great. So uh, I get knocked out. I just straight get knocked out. Like, oh, I've got to put him up here, and I've got to hope. I either hit 110 until it's 100 or my just my purple. Other than that, I lose. So he pulls Coco over and I'm like, hmm, I can, I can deal with this. I can get him a tang out. <clears throat> and he just jumps straight down. He wants to get into the action and I'm like, okay, I'll close this off and then I can look to get potentially a blue with my... Matang, get, 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 get oh, I can't talk properly. <laughs> um, get a surround on, on Coco, but then I was like, well, actually, I need to get a kill on Lunala, or a, a status on Lunala, and I was planning on getting knocked out there, or moonbeamed, to the PC so I could long throw my Agron. That's what the plan was. But when he hit a miss, I was like, whew. I'll take that. And then he comes and attacks with a scissor and gets another miss. And I was like, man, that feels bad for my opponent. Two misses in a row. Oh, um, lets me get some precious time back, though, on that minute that I lost. Now, it was, it was definitely under a minute. It's like nearly 40 seconds or less. Nearly coming down to 30 seconds. And he comes, the only way he doesn't win this is... If you rolled miss, but I get the confuse on him, and I'm like, wow, that that's actually worth that's actually worth quite a lot to me. So now, like Leo is fairly useless, um, and I'm just like, hey, I may as well just start throwing egg on it. Maybe I probably should have. Maybe I should just put him straight on the entry, so I can try and entice that Leo down. Um, that's what the idea was, but he comes down anyway, and attacks me, I get the tractor beam, and I'm like, yeah, I did, I know what I would like right now, so I could either throw Leo around, but I was like, oh, he can't really get into any good positions where I can surround him, so instead of throwing Leo, I was just like, hmm, I don't want to throw him on a tank, but Lucario can go there, can step up, threaten goal, he can come down and take me and like start demolishing me with his Terrakian right now. But if he doesn't retreat, then I'll have a good little run at his goal. That's what I was thinking. Um, so he does take a little while to think here. And I was like, okay, that's 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 good. I need, I need a little bit more catch up time. And Lucario should not be able to get knocked down. But that old Terrakian over there is just going to be a little bit of a pain, he's, he's going to be able to walk through my whole, like, my tanks. and if I'm not careful, yeah, so here we go, so starting the attack, and I needed him to, like, miss or roll blue to survive that, and now I'm saying, okay, I need to go near, I need to roll my, either my 140 or my purple, anything other than 130 or 140 or purple is a loss. Um, so Terrakian actually has pretty good chances oh. against me when I'm yawning. Um, no, against um, Agron. Um, I get the knockout. I'm like, okay, that is great. I need to now just send my um, my Polyrath up in his face as soon as he can. And I think he made a mistake here. He should have went on the other side. It's just allowing my my polyrath to push up, so that's that's quite nice. But rather than me pushing up, I thought, well, I can actually long throw, get my Verizon in a position where I can attack his other side of the goal since he didn't move there, and I was like, that could be better. Um, I was a little bit slow on my time, just thinking about that, but. It's also made my opponent now have to consider it a lot more. So he moves down and I'm like, meh, okay. He attacks and I'm like, wow, that... 
I don't think that was smart. That's just personal. Like, he gets his Leo back. Yeah, that's that's nice. But other than that, not that not that great a move. So now he's either going to go defensive with Leo, and he puts Leo there. I was like, Oof. wrong side, buddy, wrong side. So now I want to force him to make a play, use a play. He's got to either use his hurdle jump or his gold block. And and I was like, yep, yeah, hurdle jump, perfect. And much better choice to use the hurdle jump. And that's actually good for me. If I can roll my white here. I was just like, oh, ho, ho, ho. I'll take an aura sphere. So another miss he's rolled. And I'm like, I'll take it. I'll take it. And now we're down to just coming into the 20 second, um, getting 20 seconds in towards his time. And now right here, I'm two turns away from a potential surround, so he's got to respect that. If Verizian rolls like grass not into 120s, or purples into whites, I can survive. So, I don't think my opponent's going to be attacking anytime soon. I don't think he wants to send Coco um, up towards my Agron. So here, I'm just like, well, you know what? If, if we dodge, it doesn't matter. But if... I can go my purple on his white, or my white on his gold. <sighs> so close to that miss. Um, <laughs> um, but even a white, the miss or the white, that would be about 50% of his wheel. I was like, oh man, so close. That would have been amazing. I would have cho chosen to knock probably him out. I'm not sure him over Leo. I'm not sure which one I would have, would have picked. I was probably would have spent me a little bit of time thinking about that. And he goes bigger. And I'm like, wow. And he doesn't attack. I'm like, wow, that's a little bit of a waste. Just wants to discourage me from attacking. Whereas it's still fairly similar. We always just no miss now. And he's taking this guy all that to level 10. And I'm just like, that's a bigger white for me. If he attacks me and I get purple, I win the game. Because I can just knock, lock, knock Leo out. So, I just go for the Coco. And he should right now, I, I believe, move his Coco in for a potential surround. But, he's also got his Mega on the field. And he's just like, oh, I need to use my Mega. I don't want to waste my Mega. And I'm like, if he attacks, he goes for the double chance, which is smart. If I go purple, I can win the game. And I hit white, I'm like, oh. Disappointing. So disappointing. Um, so now I'm like, okay, I need to clear out this Coco. Hit that heavy slam, I'm like, alright. That's, that, that's, that's fine. I can deal with that. And now he's got Mega Sizzle. To run around, and he goes down the entry, the other side, I'm like, mm, that's fine, I want to throw my Matang at him, if I roll a blue, I can put him into surroundable positions, and that would be nice, I, I'd, I'd like to get a surround by about now, so, now that he's moved down with his Terrakian, and he's getting his Terrakian into a position where he wants to attack me, um, which, <laughs> to be fair, he he does need to get down and head towards my uh, metangs, but I I just want to get him up into a good position. Yet again, hoping for that uh, one forty or purple, um, because everything else is a miss. And I hit that purple. I'm like yes, yes. I'll move him back one. And here I'm just like okay, I'm gonna move up. I'm gonna get myself into a position where Matang versus Sizzle or Leo. If I can roll blue, I can throw him. And that's what I'm aiming for. I'm just like, I wanna get up there and I wanna start throwing. I wanna I wanna get him everywhere I, I, I need just out get him out. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. So and then he sees that and he comes at me uh, and I'm just here hoping Miss Protect will be amazing. But I'm not going to rely on that. And I'm glad I didn't. But now I'm like, actually, Polyrath. Polyrath is quite right, I was thinking. Because 
if I can confuse Tarakian, confuse Leo, they're not great. If I can confuse Sizzle, that's very good for me too. So now here I'll just jump straight back into the middle, guarding my position. Um, and I've caught up on time and I'm like, that minute lost. And this definitely helps. Every time he is, wants to try and attack Agron, it's going to take another like second or two. It does for me, I know. And oh, I get fairly fortunate not to run like roll like the 90 or the misses, um, or the would be blue miss, um, while while Turakin was on the field. And here he comes in. He wants to get rid of my Verizian, and I'm like, okay, fair call. Very cool. So gets the roost and I'm like, yes, roosto strikes again. If I can attack that sizzle, and if I can get that sizzle to miss, to roll like roll misses and roll whatever else is, I'll be like, that could be good. That's what I was thinking. I was just like, that could be really nice. Um, so here we go. And I rolled the miss, <sighs> but that's okay. Um, if he rolled right, there's no way I was going to beat that. And now he's got the surround on my Verizian. Um, and I'm so... Uh, well, there goes Verizian. I could have stepped back and set up a surround on Zapdos. And I did consider that. But then I was just like, oh, my, um, my Mighty Sphere Lucario is not on the board. So I was just like, well, I'm just going to step back. Get myself out of a surroundable position since he's attacked again. And I'm like, I just want to get Lucario out. He's got no hurdle jump, so I'm like, no, nah, I'm not fussed. I'm not even afraid. Like, he should not be able to knock me out. He can, potentially, if he rolls blue that spits into a white onto my white. Or my miss, that's the only way he can roll knock me out. And that can happen. But I was just like, well, since it's not, I'm just going to maneuver around. Um, he has Zapdos rolls a thunder charge again. He's really looking for a knockout. And I was like, I'm just going to move fast now. Verizian off to the side looking for the surround on that sizzle. Uh, we're within 10 seconds. Um, 7 seconds different right now. And he's just trying to chase me down. If he wants to use that purple thunder charge. Oh, gets the roost. And I'm like, that is perfect. Roost those like. Zap, his Zapdos, this game, Roostos, complete, complete Roostos. So, <coughs> I'm happy with that. And I'm, maybe here I should have pushed in closer with Verizian, uh, threatened the actual goal, and then, and then like pushed on up with my other mons, but I didn't. And now Verizian is in a little bit of trouble with Zapdos right there. And he gets a thunder charge again, I'm like, Alright, well, if I can get my um, my Matang up near his Leo and rolling two blues, I can potentially um, do some amazing things. And now I'm just like, okay, well, I kind of need to get my uh, Verizon out of the way, and if he follows me down and doesn't knock me out again, gets another purple, gets another blue, then I was just like, well, I can... I can potentially get a surround. I hit the tractor beam and I'm like, ooh, that Leo is going to get surrounded. I'll take that Leo right now. Both his mons in my PC. And I'm like, yes, it's a two on six. This is, this is amazing. This is, this is why I like what I call the hostage deck. And he just comes down after my Verizon and he's like, oh, he's sick of it. And he's just like, my Zed, this is going to roll gold. <laughs> and now I threaten the goal. Um, yeah. <sighs> he gets his scissor back, and I'm just like, oh. he's now got a goal block. We're within five seconds now, and I'm just like, five seconds. I can, I can do five seconds. Um. Now scissor, he's either gonna go try and knock out Matang. Doesn't want to try. And he didn't go towards the block of the goal, so I'm just like, well, I'm just going to attack. If Zapdos rolls 50 or a miss, I oh, only got the 50. Oh. Oh, so close. That, that could have easily been, like, game. 
right there. If I rolled my white or my my purple, but that that's fine. I mean, leave I'm not rolling masses and whatnot. But I hit the purple here, get the aurora sphere, and I was just like, yes, I will take that, and I'll take it. I'll actually take it. I'll take his Zapdos, and and I'm like, what a great victory prize. Moves back with Lunala. Maybe he's put on AI to try and save him sometime. <sighs> but there we go. I came back. And I was glad I came back. And then especially after I found that that was a bug. Uh, um, with Sizzle. So watch out for that. If you missed it, jump back a little bit. Um, this game got me my little rewards. So... Um, but if you missed it, the middle, if you see a deck with uh, sizzle, um, sight of the sizzle, with the metal coats, just be careful and be ready to force shut your game and open up as fast as you can if your game freezes. Just no, no notice that because it is going to be your time of ticking down. So hopefully that was helpful and hopefully you liked that game as well. <laughs> it was fun for me, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you all soon.